hello friends welcome back to my channel god bless you i want to say thank you to as many that have always been with me and for those that will be subscribing after this time god bless you today we'll have a sensitive topic to talk about sex in marriage a lot is going on in our homes and most of the time people consider sex to be something dirty or something unclean I have read the Bible up from the beginning to the end. I have not seen anything like that. And I want to let you know that sex is more of a service to God before it is pleasure to humans. You know, when God created Adam and Eve, he created both male and female, but they were in their spirit state. And after he created them, the man and the woman was locked up in Adam, which is the man. Genesis chapter 5 verse 2. He created male and female and they were in one body. He said he named them Adam. It means the man and the woman was in Adam. Now, my point is most women, married women, they often have problems sleeping with their husband. Why? Because some of them think it's something that is dirty. If it is something that is dirty, God will not give that to humanity. And you know what it does? Sex actually brings about the renewal of oneness. Like I told you that Adam and Eve, they were created. After forming man, it says man needs a companion because he brought all he created to Adam to name. And none of them were a suitable companion to Adam. The Bible says God took a rib from Adam and formed the woman. When that was done, God brought the woman to Adam. And when he brought the woman to Adam, Adam declared. He said, this is the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. For it was taken out of me. Like I told you, what sex does in marriage is to renew this covenant of oneness. God has advised us not to defraud each other when it comes to sexual relationship in our marriages. Sex in marriage is a powerful weapon. Enshrined in it is the essence of life. It's the power for procreation. When the man and the woman comes together, it's much more of a spiritual activity than what people take to be fun. The Bible says, do you not know to whom you join yourself to, you are one with that person. So if you join yourself with a harlot, you are one with a harlot. When a man and woman come together, the ability to have dominion was released to them. When you see a man wanting a woman, it is a spiritual thing. Sex is important. But for us women, your husband wants to touch you, you are saying, I'm fasting. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5. It says, Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give your thoughts to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt ye not for your inconsistency. So that's to say, you will have to be consistent with your sexual relationship. There is nothing dirty about it, and there is nothing that is unruly about it. When you and your husband come together, the energy you release is unfathomable. Satan cannot penetrate. All the whole demon put together in hell, they do not have such power. You married woman, you married man. Sex has to be a service to God before it is formed to you. See sex as a duty in your marriage that must be performed with the utmost responsibility. Let me tell you, without sex in marriage, there is no marriage in the first place. Because that oneness, that covenant of oneness, can only be renewed during the process of sexual intercourse. It is not a sin. I don't know. It's just the devil trying to deceive you so that he can perform his manipulation in your life. When you are not consistent in the place of your sexual relationship to your partner, he can come and tempt you. And once he's given that leeway, 
that he can do and undo in your marriage. We really need to know what sex is all about. God did not just create it for fun. God created it for also to renew the covenant of oneness. And when that oneness is renewed, power is released into our marriage for continuity, for life essence, for procreation. The only way we can make this happen is by continuous renewal of this one oneness. It is not a sin in any way, married woman, I'm telling you. Those of us that will say, I have headache. Oh, 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 please don't touch me. My body is aching. Oh, 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 don't touch me. But I know some of us, it is because of the behavior of the man. But I am telling you to consider it as a service to God first before it is a pleasure to the man and wife. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And until I see you in another video, keep asking in the joy of the Lord. Don't forget, keep doing this.